Let's see, today I'm just going to go and uh, um, work on Agisoft Metashape. So that's the program that I'm going to show you how to make a model in today. Um, crank that one up. And my license has expired, so I'm just going to use it in demo mode. Um, continuing with the, uh, the same version that we've been doing already, that's the same set of files that Gerard Hall so we're just going to go here, add photos, we're going to use these same images. Okay. So right now, nothing's aligned. It came in pretty nicely. Um, I don't have anything in our model. So basically, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this but we can't. So we're just gonna run it and see how it goes. So we're gonna do workflow, align photos. I'm gonna go low, advanced. This is what I normally run, but for this, I'm gonna turn these numbers down and run it. Okay, so we got our sparse cloud here. I'm gonna get rid of our cameras so we can view it. Now we have all of them aligned. That's really what we care about, making sure that all of our images align. Now we can go to the next step and we can get our dense cloud. All right, so we just finished up with the dense cloud. We take a look here, and we have ourselves a model. But let's get rid of some of this junk and we'll Next one, build mesh. Low for this, from the dense cloud. Alright, let's see what our 3D model looks like. Ooh, that is not very pretty. Well, that's why we have one more step. Uh, build texture. We're just gonna go with that.
So we just finished um, the 3D, uh, finished up our texture. So we go to texture, it's just pyramid, it's our solid, layer frame, and then our textured output. Uh, you can see it looks a lot better. Much happier with this than that other one. So um, I guess now if I had myself the real version of the software, I could export it going here and export, but I can't do that on this one. Anyways, that's uh, how to create a model in uh, Agisoft Metashape.